Hi, Katie Sincaric here with Katie Bug Crafts, and since Valentine's Day is only 10 days away, I would love to show you how to make this Valentine card using the Painted with Love suite of products. My three favorite things about this suite are, number one, the gold vinyl stickers. This is my first time using Stampin' Up! stickers, and I don't know why I didn't also buy the Eastern Palace ones that coordinate, because they are just the easiest way to bling up a project. Um, I already know they match the designer series paper. I already know that they go with the, um, the Lots to Love box framelit styles too, and that they coordinate so great with the stamps. So with the Sure Do Love You bundle, um, don't forget to get these stickers too because they're super handy and super easy way to bling up your project. The second thing that I love most about this suite is that Painted With Love Specialty Designer Series paper. Um, I like it because it's, here I'll show you some, it's thicker <clears throat> than regular Designer Series paper. Um, each one of the sides of all of them all have some sort of a metallic bling to it, and the other sides are also super pretty. So um, these are just some, these are the pieces pieces of paper we're gonna use today for our project. Um, but there are some really, really pretty designs in that set. And third best thing about this suite of products, when I purchased the materials to make this card, the ribbon was actually free because it's in the celebration catalog. So that was the third bonus thing. Um, when you, right now, celebration's going on. So um, if you have any order of $50 or more, you get a free item. And there are lots of really cool free items right now, uh, including a three pack of shimmer ribbon, which is what I use for this project. So without further ado, let me show you how to make this card. Okay, so for this project, I'm first going to start off with some extra thick cardstock. Because we're building so many layers, I wanted a thicker card base, so I chose the Thick Whisper White. And we're going to start with our stamping. Now for our background heart, we are going to stamp off twice to get that nice lighter Calypso Coral to stamp our sentiment on. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my stamp, ink it up, stamp once, stamp twice, and now I'm actually gonna do this upside down and line it up this way, like so. And then I'm gonna push it with, boom, another block, see how I like it. Ooh, hey, that turned out pretty good. Now I am ready for my sentiment, which is going to be, um, you're my Valentine every single day. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink that up and stamp that right on top of my heart. Digital. Boom. Got it. So, you're my Valentine every single day. And since we stamped off twice, it created that nice lighter value. So that full power Calypso Coral stands out really nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my card together. I'm going to do, whoops, do some snail on the back of my designer series paper, get that down for a nice background. Snail. I love this designer series paper because it really is like you, it's a win-win with both sides of the paper, which almost makes it harder. Cause sometimes if you don't like one side of a designer series paper, you can be like, oh good, I'm just using the other side. But with this one, it was kind of a challenge. Now, my next step is I'm gonna attach my ribbon. For this, you can use snail or uh, tear and tape. Um, I kinda like the tear and tape because it's a little bit more sturdy. Um, so that is what I am going to use today. And you're just gonna rip off some, put some on one side, some on the other side. 
Now with tear and tape, the harder you push on it, the easier it is to get the paper backing off. So I'm gonna just kind of push, push, push. And peel that off. And push, push, push. And get off of there, you silly. Got it. Oops. Now comes one of the fun parts using the gold vinyl stickers, which are so awesome. They're so pretty. And I found that for this card, if I trim one of the longer strips in half, then it's just the right size that I need for um, this layer. And then you can just peel it off. And I'm going to do two layers of these stickers to add a little bit more weight under that ribbon and some interest. Like so. These stickers are so awesome and so versatile and they go so well with the stamps. All right, now I am going to stick the first heart behind the ribbon. And so this one just needs snail. There we go. Now this second heart you want to kind of watch out for because you want to make sure it's not tangent with the edge. That's just kind of a design issue that I have with things. A tangency is when it's like, oh, I'm right on the edge. I'm touching it. Blech. It drives me bonkers. Either go all the way in or all the way out. And in this case, I'm gonna take it all the way off. And this one we're gonna use dimensionals for. So I'm just gonna pop two dimensionals onto the back of my heart. And stick that there. Again, making sure I'm not tangent, that I'm breaking that plane. And for to finish it off to attach it on I'm going to use dimensionals too. You can decide if you want to go straight I kind of liked it at an angle thought it made it a little more fun and I am going to go ahead and stick on My dimensionals on the back because dimensionals are the best And if you want to conserve them you can always use half a dimensional per corner It'll still stick oh, That one's already off <laughs> I love finding those hexagons in the strangest of places. And voila, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, you can visit me at katiebugcrafts.stampinup.net and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Have a fantastic day and let's create together.